Don Lemon is the CNN anchor who thinks that America hates black people. And America doesn't hate black people, and we fought a civil war to end slavery. We had a black president. Most countries in Europe that are way older than us never had black prime ministers. And we've done things over the years to heal the legacy of racism, and that is not to say that things are perfect, but that dream that that MLK guy wanted about uh, the arc of justice bending towards more equality, it's kinda here, and we don't have laws that discriminate, although the leftists are actually instituting some of those laws. But anyway, Lemon is an interesting character because he is race baiting in the worst possible way while telling you that America hates black people and hates gay black people specifically. He, a gay black man, is making around four million bucks at CNN to go on every night and pontificate and get the rest of you ginned up about racism. Now again, this gets to this thing about how much time should we focus on MSNBC and CNN and Washington Post and New York Times, because they're all sort of failing at some level. Um, but I do think it's important to call these people out and, and expose them for what they are. But in this video, I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let Lemon expose himself. So in 2014, this is only seven years ago, he had a really interesting sit down with Morgan Freeman. And I want you to listen to this, not only Don, but really listen to what Morgan Freeman is saying about race. And then the second clip will really reference this thing that's happened in the last couple of days. So take a look. But it's hard to, when you say that to some people, because they say, oh, there you go with a pull yourself up by the bootstraps thing, and you know, you're just being respectable. Not everybody can do that. Well, everybody can. Everybody doesn't. Courage, courage is the key to life itself. There are a lot of people who are born in situations where they say, well, I just, I'll never get out of this. So. They won't. Uh, I say to people who say, well, I, I would like to have done so-and-so and so. So well, you could have done it. So, well, I couldn't get out of here. Man, the bus runs every day. <laughs> <laughs> You're exactly right. Yeah. Bullshit. Everybody can. Yeah, that's right, Morgan Freeman. And by the way, Don Lemon is sort of acting as the devil's advocate in the question. He's not even saying that he agrees that people can't lift themselves up by the bootstrap. And by the end, he's agreeing with Morgan Freeman, right? Like, that's, that's pretty powerful stuff. Uh, but now, let's listen to what Don Lemon was saying to his colleagues about racism on CNN back in 2014. I, I thought what you said was fascinating because you called it bull when you said people can't, you know, pull themselves up. Do you think that race plays a part in wealth dis distribution or either a mindset that you can't Today? or cannot? Today? Yeah. No. You don't? No. I don't. I don't. I, you and I, we're proof. Why would race have anything to do with it? Stick your, put your mind to what you want to do and go for that. Uh, it's kind of like religion to me. It's a good excuse for not getting there. You know, I said, and it's probably getting me in trouble, but I said to some of my colleagues recently, said, so I know that it's an issue, but I've been, it seems like every single day on television I'm talking about race and it's because of the news cycle, it's in the news, but I'm so, sometimes I get so tired of talking about it, I want to I wanna just go, this is over, can we move on? And, and, and if you talk about it, it exists. Right. Yeah. It's not like it exists and we refuse to talk about it, but making it a bigger issue than it needs to be is the problem we have. Man, Morgan Freeman, that's it right there, making it the bigger issue, endlessly talking about it. And Lemon is saying seven years ago, I'm sick of talking about this. And in the previous clip, Morgan saying to him, we're proof that you, as a black man, can do anything in America, right? So you're actually, Lemon, you're delegitimizing your own existence as a black man, as a gay man, whatever it is. Like, it's actually insane. The, the quote there, Lemon, sometimes I get so tired of talking about it, I wanna just go, this is over, can we move on? So in two, let me understand this. In 2014, Don Lemon is saying that racism is over, can we just move on? And seven years later, he's saying America doesn't like black men or particularly gay black men, and that is complete nonsense. 
you, Don Lemon, and your silly little friends at CNN are keeping racism on life support, which is exactly what Morgan Freeman is saying there. You can always talk about it, and if you always talk about it, you will always keep it going. And now, because of that scary critical race theory thing that you think none of us can uh, define, even though we define it all the time, uh, you guys are the ones that are making America more racist. There, where, sh please somebody show me someone on the right. I don't mean some loser Twitter troll with a green frog avatar. I'm talking about, show me someone mainstream on the right, a senator, a congressman, someone who is racist and is trying to put racism into the system and wants there to be different laws for black people or doesn't want black people to succeed. Let's not forget, Congressional Black Caucus sitting there like this as Donald Trump during the State of the Union said that we had all time low black unemployment and I thought that would be something they were for, but they decided they were less for that rather than mostly they were just against Orange Man. So, you know, look, we can all change, right? I've changed, we can all evolve, we can all get new information and, and look at the world in a different way. But the way that Don Lemon is evolving is not evolution, it's devolution, right? He's devolving in, his, in, the, in the thinking, right? Racism is over, I wanna tell my friends and my colleagues, you know, we shouldn't talk about this anymore, let's move on. And now it's, we gotta talk about it endlessly all the time, it's never enough. And if I'm not mistaken, he just wrote a book about it too. Like, lordy lordy, people.